What is going on everyone? My name is Alpha and today we are bringing you another Pokemon challenge video. We're back on generation 3 and we're back on Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. However, this time this challenge will be can we beat Pokemon Leaf Green with only status moves? So with no attacking at all with physically affecting moves. So that's going to be interesting. I've done this in the past. I called it a no attacking or without attacking uh, series and it made more sense to call it status move only because really we're just using status moves only and also gonna avoid using struggle because struggle does damage because you're struggling and then you hit them so obviously that's a that's a gray area i want to avoid using struggle so we're not gonna use struggle and we're gonna just keep it from there just use status moves and that is it so for this we're gonna have to start off with bulbasaur because that is the only thing that's gonna learn any useful status moves that's gonna take us through the game and spoiler warning Obviously, he is going to be the main ace of our team. The team is going to be centered around him for a while. Anyways, before we get into the challenge, I want to ask you guys if you guys can leave a like, comment down below some challenge ideas down below, and also subscribe if you guys have not already. We are, we are pretty close to 7k, I won't say that. So thank you so much for everyone that supported me uh, so far. And thank you, yeah, it's just amazing. Thank you for clicking on the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now let's get into the video itself. So... We got Bulbasaur. Now, Bulbasaur, we're going to have to obviously uh, lose the first battle we have with it because we obviously have Tackle, and Tackle is not... It's obviously an attacking move, so you can't use him at all. So, so how do we get levels? Because Bulbasaur learns Leech Seed, our first status move, at level 7. <laughs> so how are we going to get two levels on him? But firstly, firstly, we're going to catch some Pokemon in the wild, and then... Obviously, just have him just on our team, just as father, just like to switch around. And our first method is to train on Route 1, you know, try to like just keep moving, use Growl all as much as we can until it runs out of PP on the Pokemons we're facing. Now, this could work, but Tackle just has too much PP and we just don't have enough HP on our like low level Pokemon that it's gonna matter. We also can't use items in battle, so that's gonna be a bit tough. Uh, we tried it two times, one with a Pidgey, one with a Rotata, it did not work. So we moved on north up to Viridian Forest, and here we actually get introduced into Metapods and Kakunas who only know the move Harden. They obviously can learn moves through level up, but when you find them in the wild, they only know Harden. So once we PP drain them, they actually give us a lot of XP, and we gain levels from that. And once we get Leech Seed, we, we get the ball rolling. Things get a bit easier from now on. Surprisingly so, we get a lot of levels in Viridian Forest. So we get up to level 13 and then we head into Brock. The Brock fight it shouldn't be hard at all because we have a Bulbasaur to begin with. And once we Leech Seed it, we can Growl it so we gain more HP while he's doing less damage each turn. And we drain it slowly and slowly and we beat it. That is such a remarkable way to beat him because it's it's so simple. <laughs> it shouldn't have worked, but it worked. So after we beat Brock, we're going to lose Sleep Powder and Poison Powder. Poison Powder can be also another passive move, status move that does damage. And Sleep Powder can put Pokemon to sleep. And that could benefit us because we have Leech Seed to gain HP during battle. So it's very useful. Growl, you know, surprisingly. Surprisingly, you're looking at the moveset right now and you're like, this is, a, this is an awful moveset. This is the moveset into the end of the game. <laughs> I have Growl, Leech Seed, Sleep Powder, and Poison Powder into the end of the game. Because it's pretty useful. I'll say this: this move set is pretty useful. Uh, nothing else on Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur is gonna help me. So this is actually my final move set. It's just right off the bat. So <laughs> it's it's surprising. We make our way through Mount Moon. However, we actually lose. We actually black out at one of the trainers up here, and we don't have any items to really help us. So we just lose, and we gotta restart. Unfortunately. But once we obviously get through Mount Moon, we head into Cerulean City, and Cerulean City you know, a bit a bit easier because we have Ivysaur. We have Leech Seed constantly, we can Poison Powder it. Uh, again, Starmie is just so strong, it does so much damage, but luckily I can put it to sleep and we can weather it down so much easier. But again, Starmie is just a broken Pokemon, like someone like gotta stop that thing. That thing is broken. We, <laughs> we can't let that thing <laughs> be alive. As we're heading across Nugget Bridge, there is one thing I want to point out that Obviously, that might raise attention. There is a trainer that has a Pokemon named Oddish. Now, if you look at my moveset and you look at Oddish, Oddish is a grass poison type that is unaffected by poison powder. Toxic at all, and I can't leech seed it because it's a grass type. So, it completely stonewalls my Ivysaur. It counters it. 
So what we have to do is go back to our roots. We have to wait. <laughs> we have to make it struggle all the way down, all the way down. We're gonna make it struggle all the way down. And it dragged, because this trainer also has a bell sprout in the back, so that's annoying. But this thing is dragging, and eventually it gets struggled, and then it struggles dead. So we get past it, <laughs> luckily for us. Like I've said in the past, once we head into Lieutenant Surge, Lieutenant Surge is such a pushover. Like, oh my god. L Lieutenant Surge gets slapped up by our Ivysaur, and it's just, just not fair, honestly. It's honestly not fair for anyone involved. This one, which is Voltor, because it does... It has Sonic Boom, it does 20 damage guarantee, and early game, that's a lot of HP to be playing around with, but since I have Leech Seed, I can mitigate that, and sometimes he just ch chooses not to even use it. And Raichu's never been a big factor in anything, so even he it doesn't give me enough XP to level up, so Lieutenant Surge is just completely useless. I have to go to the next route, just so I can evolve my Ivysaur into a Venusaur, and well, that's pretty good start all right once we get out of dark tunnel we head into lavender town and there is a route right next to lavender town which has a new pokemon for us is volpix volpix is a leaf green exclusive pokemon that's why we're playing on leaf green and it comes with a special little move called will o wisp will o wisp inflicts burn on the opponent if it lands and that's gonna be useful on this passive run because it, it it is a status move and also we're coming up to a grass type gym so we needed a new pokemon that is a big, big scary factor that we we're that dawned upon me while I was crossing through the dark tunnel. I was like, yo, how am I supposed to get through Erica with my Venusaur? Am I supposed to make all her Pokemons <laughs> violently shake and struggle? I, there is no re there is no way I could have beat Erica. But technically I didn't have to beat Erica until further down the line. So I, I was I was fine. I maybe could have found a different way. Maybe I could just caught a bunch of strong Pokemons and just make it struggle, make it struggle easier. Vulpix, good. So it's 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 a pain to have such a garbage Pokemon because we still use Venusaur to still whittle it down. But at the end, Vileplume gets knocked out by Burn and we stall it out with Venusaur and we beat Erica. Surprisingly, on the first try. Surprisingly, that that went a bit smoother than I expected because. I truly thought that Vulpix was gonna like hold me down and take so long to train up and then just be useless. But it was fine. It worked out. Things things work out. We're heading back to the Pokemon Tower and we're catching ourselves a Ghastly. Um, that's gonna be a Pokemon in the back of our team that we're gonna slowly train um, because we we are allowed to catch a bunch of Pokemon. It isn't a solo run Pokemon challenge, so we can catch a bunch of Pokemon. We can get a lot of Pokemon and get it into our Pokedex, and we can get the XP share later on, so it'll be easier to train up Pokemon. And also, we're gonna catch the Snorlax when it's available, because you know, Snorlax is not a bad Pokemon, it's a staller, so we're gonna keep it. But it doesn't matter because we head into Koga's gym, and Koga, you know, as much as I hate Koga, Koga in this game just seems so annoying to play against because. He has Minimize, he has Self-Destruct, uh, he Poisons, he does a lot of stupid stuff. But since I have Leech Seed, I can stall it pretty well. I also have will o -Wisp, so it's pretty easy. We stall his team out pretty easily, and then we get Toxic, which is going to be very useful. I'm not going to teach that to my Venusaur because it already has a Poison move. I, it's Obviously, Poison Powder is not as good as Toxic because Toxic is a cumulative. But Poison Powder, I, I still want to have different options in using like status moves to inflict damage. So I'll keep that in the back. I will teach you the Venusaur. However, we're heading to self Co and we actually found out that my Nine Tails is the new ace of the team, but also Nine Tails counters Charizard of my rival. So that's a great thing to have. You know, just a little secret weapon completely uh, shrugs off the Charizard because it always uses Flamethrower, blah, blah, blah. It's a one move Pokemon. It's a good move. I won't lie. It was a good move, but it's a one move Pokemon. Anyways, we're heading into Sabrina. Now, Sabrina has a bit of a tougher team for me because I have Venusaur who's weak to Psychic. Not really much else I could do. Venusaur goes down at one point and then now it's just Nine Terrors versus the world. Luckily, Alakazam uses Future Sight and Calm Mind and just doesn't kill. Just doesn't finish off my Nine Tails at the end. So, we do beat Sabrina and we we barely escape. Um, I say barely, but I had four Pokemon in the back and it was burned, so maybe barely is the wrong terminology. But Alakazam is just scary in general. That thing is just scary in general. Anyways, we get the XP share, now things are getting easier to train up. And we head into Blaine's gym. Blaine's can be a problem because 
fire types cannot get burned and also my Venusaur who inflicts all, most of the status moves will be weak to his fire move so it's a bit of a, a toss around to what we can do, really do to help and to beat Blaine but but once we actually get into the battle things are a bit easier because I can obviously leech seed and then run away and I could absorb all the hits I want confuse ray it slowly and then it's it just dies it's it's perfect we completely destroyed Blaine took a bit of stalling you know it happens but we beat Blaine at the end next up is Giovanni Giovanni is a bit simpler ground type he is like technically stronger than most of my team because you know my nine tails my ace pokemon now is weak to ground but my venusaur still has leech seed poison powder and growl it, it, laugh at me i uh, ha, ha, i have growl growl weakens his move so i can obviously stay healthy i also have my haunter who's a bit stronger now i can inflict curse on most of his pokemons to have residual damage a lot of damage constantly so i could take out threats like that and it's pretty useful Hunter is going to be a great Pokemon down the line and same with Venusaur always growling always leech seeding poison powder boom too easy we take out Giovanni and now we're getting set up our team is getting slowly there you can see like the pieces of my team building but I just need a little more a little more from all of them speaking of a little more my team is very very weak to a lot of his members but certain Pokemon's just counter certain Pokemon's and we, we certainly stomp a rival just because we actually have a counter to his ace and once we get into the leaf four we actually have a really good squad we have a god squad on our team we have a pretty strong team but i won't lie so once we head into Lorelei's chamber we're gonna have muck started off muck is a good pokemon i wanted muck obviously has a lot of special defense it's a special defense wall that's what they specialize in uh it also has natural poison move also has a lot of like stability moves like disable if uh, just threatening pokemon minimize is a good stalling move however i put memento on it i i i, I it's it, it's just it, it's, it's just there a memento is a move uh i didn't want to actually think back on it because i it's gonna i have to use it to like stall turns i'm gonna die so it's a waste of a move slot but Muck actually does pretty well. It fared pretty well. It took down two, of, uh, took down three of her pro. It took down three of her Pokemon: Slowpoke, Cloyster, and Slowbro. So pretty useful Pokemon. Lapras comes out, takes it out, but it's a great showing from our Muck. And then I have a Vile Plume, another Grass type that does a lot of damage, poisons, and poison stalls. And then I have Haunter. It has Dusty Bond. It's a fast Pokemon. It Dusty Bonds the Lapras, takes it out. It, that's that's great thing about. Um, even with all that, it comes down to my last Pokemon Venusaur to stall it out. <laughs> and lower light, again, it's always a pain. Anyways, we head into Bruno's chamber, and Bruno's so much easier than lower light. Never, never mistaken that. We use Leech Seed and Growl. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Growl is in the Leaf 4. Yes, we're using Growl in the Leaf 4. Yes. We're Leech Seeding and Growling all his Pokemons and just slowly whittling away. Because he can't do enough damage to, like, warrant, like, to kill me at all. And. Uh, it, I'm a bastard. <laughs> I'm a I'm, one, I'm a bastard because I just destroyed everything, and then his ace comes out. Same thing, similar to before. Curse it, and then knock it out. Haunter is a wonderful Pokemon. I love Haunter. Now here comes the hard part. Agatha, poison, elite four member that just does not care about my poison moves. So it's gonna be a bit tougher. We're gonna start off by trying to leech seed, stall it all the way down, and we got that off. We're just gonna keep pivoting around all our Pokemons, trying to gain HP from all my Pokemons. Uh, I stole out her first Pokemon with Muck. Now Muck's kind of useless, but I opted not to will with her Pokemons. I don't know why, but maybe I should have thinking back. But Golbat comes out, gets burned, and then similar to Arbok gets burned, and it has Shed Skin, so full restored Shed Skin. It's gonna be annoying to really stall down. So Leech Seed is also recommended. And since poison, all poison moves and ghost moves, physical attacking moves in this generation, Growl is again useful in this fight. Very useful Growl, my man Growl. Um, again, Leech Seed stall. At the end, Agatha's final Gengar could not kill my Haunter in one hit. So, I Destiny Bonded and we killed the Gengar and we beat Agatha with a Haunter, which is pretty sick. I wish, I really wish I could get, I, I really, I infinitely wish we could have trade Pokemons without trading because those are some of the cooler Pokemons in the game. Anyways, we head into Lance, start off very strong. We 
obviously weaken the Gyarados as much as we can and Muck stalling it out with Minimize again. Muck does his best with Aerodactyl and does get the kill on it, however, somehow Dragonite always hits its first move. I, I, somehow I have plus 6 evasion and it just destroys me still. It's not a fair Pokemon, it's cheating. I, I'm reporting it. But we get a slow stall off on it, we sacrifice 2 Pokemons for it. We actually sacrifice 3 Pokemons to kill the Dragonite, which it's it's iffy if it's worth it or not, but Dragonite's a big threat. But everything else has to be perfect from now on. And at the end, we actually uh, trap the Dragonair into a Destiny Bond. And we take it down by taking down my Haunter. And we beat Lance with Destiny Bond. So Destiny Bond's coming in clutch, just taking out like one Pokemon out of the puzzle. As well, if I get a lucky curse off, I could also get another Pokemon. So I could get two Pokemons with Haunter. So Haunter is pretty, pretty useful as a Pokemon in this run. I'm glad I picked it up. Uh, I didn't. I completely forgot that Destiny Bond was a move, and maybe I should just run like five Destiny Bonds <laughs> instead. Anyway, starting off the champion fight against our rival, we're gonna use. We're gonna obviously burn the Pidgeot so it weakens all his moves, so it's less of a threat. However, Muck gets clapped by it still because it has Aerial Lace. Uh, we always start out with the same strategy. Muck tries to stall anything out <laughs> with evasion, but it obviously doesn't work all the time. But when it does, it's pretty useful. Anyways, Rhydon comes out after this, and you know what we do with Rhydon's Rhyhorns. We send out Venusaur, we Leech Seed it, we Growl it, and we try to get all our HP back. <laughs> Same thing with Alakazam, we try to poison it, and then I gave my Snorlax Toxic, so you know if it's synchronized onto me, it's not the worst thing, because I can rest up. So pretty useful in that front. Good job on Snorlax for taking out Alakazam, and then Gyarados comes out. We put a Leech Seed on it, we put a Sleep on it, and we're just slowly withering away, and... Luckily for us, it, it works. We actually we knock it down with our Venusaur. However, Charizard comes out, and there is not much we can do with Charizard. So we're actually stalling it with Snorlax because most of its move, it's gonna use Slash all the time, so it won't have actual stab moves we're using against. So we can live a lot of its attacks, and we Toxic stall it all the way down. And then final Pokemon is Executor. Snorlax gets the Toxic off. It uses a Full Restore. However. We're gonna outlast. We're gonna outlast it, and we're gonna we're just gonna destroy it. And that is the run. We did it. We beat Pokemon Leaf Green with only status moves, and <laughs> that was an uh, interesting ride. We had a full team, obviously, so luckily we got <laughs> so we got something handed to us in this. But I want to say thank you for watching all the way to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was so fun to make. I actually really love this challenge because it's unique. Not just one Pokemon, but I get to play around with a bunch of Pokemon. Big thanks for everyone watching all the way to the end. I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, don't forget to leave a like, comment down some challenge ideas, and subscribe if you guys have not already. My name's Alpha, and I hope you guys all had a great day. I'm out. Peace.